Okay, in 1991, Slack, my laboratory, and uh, the Institute of Hygiene Physics uh, were setting up a big experiment in Beijing to communicate to, uh, to work on high energy physics. As part of this, they needed good internet connection. In those days, there was no such thing. Uh, everything was done via phone lines, and it was usually point to point. So I was asked to look to see what we could do to remove the phone lines and replace them with something a bit more modern. So uh, since I was going to Beijing, uh, going to China, uh, sorry, going to Japan at this time, uh, I, I extended the trip and went to China and took a couple of modems with me. And we were actually able to set up a connection directly from Beijing to Slack using in those days something known as DECnet. Uh, oh, when I returned, I talked to the DOE and we put together a proposal to uh, put in a satellite link, which we then procured from AT&T. Uh, this got in and provided a connection to Beijing Airport from Point Reyes in, in California. And then that got transmitted across town to a hotel in the center of town. And then uh, it took a while to get it out to uh, the Institute of Hygiene Physics itself. There were all kinds of problems. We tried microwave and infrared, eventually got a fiber optic line. And then the last two blocks took a year while they figured out how to uh, convert from uh, fiber optic signals to uh, copper signals. And then uh, we eventually got it through. And then we had to work with the Department of Energy, the Department of Defense, the Department of Commerce to get the traffic from uh, China to be able to be transmitted to the internet. And we finally got the agreement to do that as long as we would send out an email to people on the internet saying that China would now be on the internet, therefore be aware of this. Uh, that was approved and uh, a few days later we had the internet connection all the way to China. In all it took about three years to do and it's now of course grown from what must have been one or two users to where now it's overtaken the US. So we've come a long way.